Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me while I traveled to Costa Rica and back for the Bahati Life retreat, which was absolutely amazing. Not only was it so dope to be able to connect with the Bahati Vibe Tribe there in Costa Rica, um, I just feel like on so many different levels, I was changed and transformed. And I'm hearing that those who went on the trip are feeling the same way. And we are also able to build friendships and connect closer to the divine and to ourselves, which was the purpose of it. It exceeded all expectations. So thank you to those that um, were able to come. You guys know who you are because we have a whole group chat still going and we'll continue that group chat. It's been pretty lit. Um, and for those of you guys that are interested in going on another trip to Costa Rica, on the next Costa Rica trip, we are going to be focusing on um, divine feminine energy within ourselves. And it'll be just as beautiful as the first Costa Rican trip, but it's going to be different because it's going to be more secluded. It's going to be pulled into the rainforest. I'll leave the links down for, for it down below. Okay, but for now, we're going to tap even further into Divine Feminine Energy. Again, I feel like it's been a minute since I've been able to share a reading here on Bahati Life YouTube channels, simply because I was traveling, but it feels really good to come back. And if you're interested, you can always check out um, Bahati Life's uh, subscriptions which uh, every I pull a reading or pull a card for you guys and I do a reading for you guys every single day. It's $5 a month and you can find it on Bahati Life Instagram. All right. I just want us to take a moment and connect with the divine really quickly and set an intention for our time together. Dear divine, I thank you so much for our moment, this moment here together. I thank you for the Bahati Vibe Tribe. We come here today because we want to receive a message from you. We want to receive guidance from you. I want to work with the tarot in order to tap deeper with my intuitive gifts that you have led me to share with the collective here today and that you have gifted me with. What messages do you want us to hear, see, and receive now? What is it that needs to be known, stated? Give me the ability to hear you clearly and give me the discernment to know what's for me and what's for the collective and what's for both of us, as well as protect those who are here to receive a message and give them the discernment to know what's for them as well. I thank you once again for your blessings, divine. I thank you once again for the silence in this moment here today. I thank you for the messages. I thank you for the love. I thank you for the peace. And I set it an intention that for all who are receiving this message today, that they walk away from this feeling empowered, feeling magical, and knowing what steps to take next. The first thing that I'm hearing um, from the divine right now is this idea of self-reliance. As soon as I say the word self-reliance, spirit is showing me the water's kind of cooling down. I don't know what that means yet, but I'm going to ask. It's interesting because I feel like, um, When I'm seeing, it's like something like the waters are starting to, uh, it's like a um, something that is filled up. It's almost like a well or something, like a dam or something that fills up with water or rainwater. Um, some of you guys are have been in a feeling of self-reliance where you're, I know I'm getting an, a, a, the best way that I can describe this is someone who has to take some time, some temp I'm seeing, I'm hearing like five days for you to temporarily fill your cup up. Um, 
spirit is showing me I, I'm, I'm even having a hard time trying to understand what spirit is showing me right now but it's like water that was hot then it becomes warm then it becomes lukewarm and then now it's cooling and this has to do with self-reliance so it could be just spirit I can't tell if this is because some something or someone is going to come to your aid or help yeah four of wands four of wands is the next card to jump out spirit's gonna start warming things up a, a bit it's i i keep asking in my intuition like through my head is this help that's coming through is this like it's i i'm getting a um spirit said your disposition so basically how you how people see you how people perceive you they they are starting to feel like you're cold or disconnected or that sometimes you're warm and sometimes you're cool so you might flip back and forth um and there's this desire for people to want to come in i'm hearing um all hands on deck like people want to put their hands on you um in order to heal you and help you support you there's this really strong message about wanting like having your energy be warmer instead of um cooling off um i I, th I think one of the things that was kind of tripping me up in the very beginning of this reading because i'm like okay why is it so cool like why did it go from warm to cool is that a good thing is it a bad thing is it is what it is um spirit's not even really wanting me to focus on like what got you there or what got you to that point where you go from being warm to to now this colder energy but spirit so spirit wants to focus on now into the future on you not being so self-reliant i feel i keep hearing that there's a lot of people who are going to want to put hands on you or want to contribute i'm um, to you or start putting into the pot collectively you're going to want to start shifting into working together coming together as a community as a family as a unit um, self-reliance I, I think so basically now spirits allowing me to talk about the past so let's say you're an entrepreneur or a small business owner or you're you know you work um, or you're a stay-at-home mom or dad it's like you're it's you moving from the activity and the heat of everyday responsibilities and commitments and now that's gonna start cooling off and tapering off i'm also feeling like if you're feeling frustrated overwhelmed exhausted um spirit is saying abandon those tasks temporarily abandon those tasks so that you can start um things can start to warm up and not be cold again um when i say warm and cold we're talking about energy in this case when we see warmth it's something that feels nurturing and supportive and then when i say cold it feels like it needs to be warmed up so that it's life you know um spirit is showing me like the temperature of a like trigger alert but the temperature of a body if it's cold it's not good we want to bring life back into it yeah I'm going to pull these away. Some of you guys have started your energy. Spirit is saying it's gotten frigid. Um, and they want you to be, I don't want to say more open, but start to manifest the energy of warmness. I just heard for some of you guys, you've been staying in a space of solitude for too, for too long. Something about the number five. So you might have needed five days of being hands off. And now Spirit is trying to encourage you to come back in or start to prepare for community. The cards that I pulled next are Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and Six of Pentacles reversed. I'm seeing um, a vision of a long, long uh, dinner table or a kitchen table. And someone was working at the kitchen table and now they're putting away, that was like their temporary office, and now they're putting away their laptop, their, laptop, their papers and stuff like that and starting to prepare it for like food and dinners and warmth and stuff like that spirit really wants you to kind of start looking into that or start being more open to that to the sense of the idea of community also 
um, spirit is saying that your work has kind of led you astray. This feeling of purpose, this, this idea of I'm working on healing myself, I'm working on making money, I'm working on delivering my gifts to the, whatever the world. Um, these are my, it's like this idea of sense, this sense of obligation, but now spirit wants you to be warm to the touch and not cold. Um, and basically what this means is that we want to focus, we want you to focus less on purpose and more on enjoyment, pleasure. That's the way that society is as a whole. Society has been in a state of barrenness and survival mode. Um, so I'm now I'm getting that this is a collective energy, that this is where our world or um, many different societies are going to start connecting with. Again, this is Queen of Swords here. This is that frigid, this is, I have to do what I have to do. Spirit is, whoa, and then we have warmth. So we have cold and we have warmth. We have King of Wands and then we have Queen of Swords. They both have their backs to each other. So it's moving, they're going in two different directions. There are two different aspects of your personality. There are two different things that were required of you. There are two different things that were asked of you. You had the cold side of you that was frigid and had to do survival and had to, you know, I, I don't know I just why I heard like quarantine. Um, so maybe our society was like cold, isolated, pulled away, quarantining, and now we're moving into actively coming together as community and warmth and joy and fun and pleasure, less purpose, more fun and joy. That's going to be a tough transition for some people because as a society or as a whole, or maybe you individually have gotten so, yeah, look, we have King of Wands here and we have the Emperor. So this is where Spirit is, is um, designing to take to take us this is what is um spirit wants you to receive whether you identify as divine feminine i'm speaking to the divine feminine within each single one of us individually and also collectively as a society literally we have the world card this is world energy which i love to see that spirit just told me when it comes to society they want to talk about the global um, they're saying brace for impact. There's definitely going to be, I'm seeing like, a, like I'm seeing like stocks crashing. Um, I'm literally hearing that like stocks crashing, finance, finances crashing, um, things like that. This is something outside of your control. So when you, in order to help you like salvage as spirit said that, a specific word in order to salvage you have to re you're gonna have to remember and know and learn that you are not exclusively your purpose if you connect too much to your if your identity spirit says if your identity is too is too intertwined with your purpose then you're gonna feel when this happens in our society as a collective that you're not doing enough that your life doesn't matter and all this thing all of these things are going to shit when that's simply not even remotely the case. Now, as a society, we are all collectively moving into warmth, community, hearth, and coming together. This is gonna be felt globally. It's going to go from cold to warm. What a beautiful message. For some of you guys that are, look at that. Look at that. 10 of wands and ace of pentacles upright. 10 of wands reversed and ace of pentacles upright. This is literally putting down the the baggages, the financial baggages, the the, um, the burdens of our society that we've been holding on to. All of a sudden we say, you know what? I'm putting this down and there's a new a new future, a new life, a new way of living that's going to start emerging. And it's going to be way more I just heard subtle, but it's not subtle. It's supple. It's going to be way more filled. It's going to be way more for, I, I want to go back to, um, what it was. I was originally saying that some of you guys are terrified of change. Some of you guys are really terrified of change. Whenever we, as, um, those who are actually the seers, um, I understand that there's a lot of tarot readers on here. There's no shade, but, um, I now understand there's a lot of tarot readers, but those of us who can actually see, and receive div like visions um when we start to say the truth of what it is that we're seeing and what it is that we're actually hearing it can freak you guys out and it's not meant to promote fear or to incite fear it's meant to guide you um each step of the way and help you to carry forward in a way that's strong and and um 
closely woven in with the divine, the, 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 the divine's plan and, and also cosmic energies, like collective consciousness. There's literally as many tarot readers as there are. I'm not being shady. I'm just letting you guys know so that you're aware of things, so that you're empowered to not be afraid and that you are putting your trust in the right sources, right? So there's a very as many tarot readers as there are on social media. Um, there's very, very few people who actually see, who actually see. Sometimes we're considered crazy. <laughs> um, and sometimes we're not able to operate businesses in the same way that others do because everything is done from a more authentic approach. Um, I'll leave it at that. Again, I'm not trying to shade or anything like that. I love actually seeing everyone on here reading tarot. I love it. I love it. Um, more of it, please. But we have to call things what they are. There's a difference between reading tarot and actually seeing. Um, but anyways, so I'm saying all that to say, though, that um, don't, when they, these things start to occur and they start to happen, you don't want to plant your seed of faith in what you can see, hear, know. It's what you intuitively and also who you in, in who, what you intuitively sense. And then also there's a select handful of people here on earth who are going, who can actually see, who can actually see. And, um, I, th I guess maybe this is going to be, um, a world, a world moment, like a moment of closure and a moment of new beginning. I'll look at how long it's been since my last video that I posted. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like nine years or eight years because it almost feels like what this message is today is going to be about collective consciousness and how things are going to be actively changing as a society, which is awesome because it feels like it's going to come back to the hearth, come back to the home. It's very simple. This is about like making bread from scratch or stretching things and sharing with your neighbors. Um, it's not all about the money and the burden and the, like setting this higher standard and keep grinding and no, it's not, it's going to be more about collective community, warmth, happiness, simplicity. I, I'm also seeing people unloading, um, uh, like not resources, but things like things that they've collected, they're starting to unload it. Start that's going to stop having value. If you're someone who has um, designer things, you might be selling those things, sell them now for a higher profit if you don't need them anymore or like them anymore because the value of them is gonna start to kind of tipple. Um, if you're someone who has a lot of things in your home, I see you starting to share them with thrift stores. I also see like thrifting and those types of things are gonna start becoming more, I just heard famous. Um, so it'll be interesting if like thrift store, like a thrift store did become famous for something during this time within the next five to 10 years. This is emphasis on the number five. Yeah. The devil card and the page of wands. So collectively, um, I thought this was going to be about divine feminine, but this is divine feminine within our society and divine feminine within ourselves. So this is about really getting getting rid of the baggages, like getting rid of things and stuff and obligations and expectations. We are going to start, you and you're going to start learning um, what is actually really important and what is actually valuable. And you're going to stop chasing the things that aren't. There's a reason why we did it, you know, during that time, that's what I'm spirit saying. There's a reason why we did it. Um, meaning like why this was the way that it was. But now that you've, like moved through that now that you've transgressed that. I don't know if that's the right word, but you've passed, like gone through that. Now it's time to live differently. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of like whole, whole food eating, eating like it's something about bread, bread with nuts, like seeds in it, like very, very like hearty bread. Things that are very nutrient dense. Eight of Pentacles. The way that we work is going to change. It's going to shift. It's going to be seriously work smarter, not harder, and not for things and not to save up money. Um, it's going to be like 
which some of you guys are like, what? Not to save up money? Like, it's, it's just, you're just not gonna spend it. Like, there's something about spending the bare minimum. For, for, for Divine Feminine, some of you guys are gonna be tapping into minimalism and simplicity. You're gonna be slowing everything down. It's gonna be like survival before in the past looked like, <sighs> survival before in the past looked like, like how high you can like go harder, go bigger. Now it's gonna be like survival for us is going to look like growing food, cooking that food, grinding that food, storing that food, even canning like simple, simple, very, very simple living. And I don't, if this comes from a shock, which I'm not seeing it yet, um, of our societies, more than one, then that would make sense. But I just feel like this is a gradual trans transition in the next five to 10 years of going back to the bare bones and what really matters about life. Some of you guys are considering moving away from like out of country and spirit is saying if you if this feels like a community thing and you're doing it for better quality of life it's supported if you're doing it for business big business it's going to crash it'll it's just like not it's not the right move or if you do move you end up moving back yeah, so we have the Temperance card reversed, the Sun card upright, and Page of Swords reversed. There's some information and there's some things that you're going to learn very, very quickly within a year of you moving that it's not going to work out or it can't, it simply cannot work back or it, it cannot work out and you're going to end up moving back. Those are for people that are moving away from community consciousness, like community, like a sense of community. If you're moving, let's say you're someone who's from Indiana and you're deciding, wanting to go to the big city to New York, um, you're gonna find that something in New York is gonna be crashing and burning there. You know what I mean? Let's say if you're in New York and you that's your community, but you you decide that you're gonna move to Cuba for because that's where your family comes from and you're going to help them on farm life. That is supported. Do, do you see how, do you see what I'm saying here? It's like, the way that we work is definitely going to change. Five of Pentacles, Kings of King of Wands. What we're proud of is going to change and shift in a major way. You're not going to want to produce or make as much. You're not going to. There's. I heard some some people are going to be left empty-handed. That means you're just not going to show up in the same way that you once did. I can actually relate to this message. I'm also thinking about like the warmth and the hearth and like coming together. Some of you guys are abandoning your idea of what it is that you thought you wanted. And you're starting to come to terms with exactly what it is that you need. And it's going to feel so much better. And there's going to be this shift within you as far as what you were originally attracted to and what you originally would have discarded because it doesn't check all of your boxes and then you realize that when the divine gives you this thing this piece you're going to realize that you can build more with that piece than you have with anything else that you've had before if you don't know what i'm talking about set intentions so that you will know what i'm talking about oh um the candle that i have burning here guys is the higher wisdom candle and i'm also working with one of my lunar oils from a, a past full moon. I have it labeled on the bottom. That's how I label my oils individually. The ones that it is that I keep for myself. Um, but I would highly recommend a higher wisdom fixed candle and the lunar goddess oil, which I'm thinking about changing the name of it, but it's pretty much connects, it connects you with the energy of the moon. Also, Bahati Life Apothecary just got restocked with oils and I just sent out a ton of packages that were sitting here as soon as I got back from Costa Rica. So, um, yes, you can check that out down below. To those of you guys who work magic and manifest using candles, oils, herbs. Interesting. Spirit, talk to me actually about the Seven of Swords. 
reverse here. Some of you guys are coming back to yourselves. Yeah, some of you guys are coming back to yourselves. This is not gonna feel, I just pulled the Five of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Five of Cups. It's not gonna feel as emotionally heavy as you once there's not gonna be this feeling or sense of abandonment. I really am getting the strong sense that it's not gonna be that, like that feeling of abandonment that you were expecting or that you were accustomed to. I just, I actually get a really strong feeling, a sense of comfort, especially with the King of Cups here. There's this feeling of like comfort and recognition and just being like, you know what? This is all that I've needed. This is all that I wanted and I can't ask for more. You feel very warm and cozy. Some of you guys may have this feeling, if there is a feeling of like doubt or sadness, it's like, damn, it took me this long to figure that out. And spirit's just like, as it does, you know, as it does. Sometimes it does take a, take these types of things in order to understand. Yeah, ten of, two of swords, you can't understand something and receive something that you're blocked from understanding. You know what I mean? Like. You can only understand something as far as your perspective and your openness is willing to shift into receiving it. And sometimes that openness has to come from a little bit of finagling and wiggling. I just had a vision, um, Spirit showed me of like wiggling a tooth. Um, you can't just rip a tooth out of your head, that would be weird. Sometimes you, you know, it's like if you're about to lose a tooth, a baby tooth, it has to kind of be wiggled first and then you can pop it out. And then when you pop it out, you're like, I waited for this and now it came out of my head. This is if you're a child. It now came out of my head and now I have the reward of putting this under my pillow and then the tooth fairy will come. You don't just rip a, head, a tooth out. It's the whole process of the wiggle, the wigglization of it all. And that signifies the growth. It signifies how far you've come. It signifies how much you've matured. The same thing is for how much you've matured emotionally for you to get to, you to this point now where you understand that this is what is actually going to make me happy and this is what's actually going to make me fulfilled. Nothing else. I love that. Wow, guys, this reading is very specific. I'm surprised. Yep. High Priestess and the Five of Cups. I'm getting a lot of support from Spirit as I'm shuffling for you guys right now. Just saying, Jess, you're doing great. Thank you. Wow, Six of Cups. Yes, it's like going back to a simple life and going back to simplicity. I also see that spirit loving the metaphor of the tooth, the wiggling of the tooth, and like um, maturity, maturing, maturation. So it says, you know what, you were almost ready to close out. So what's the final message, my love? I just heard the growth in this journey has been so surreal. In a small amount of time, I've transformed into a beautiful butterfly, exactly how it should be, Justice. This is exactly how it should be. No part of, Spirit wants to say that no part of this journey has been in vain. I, I heard that, very specific, that channeled message. No part of this journey has been in vain. No part, okay, they said they wanted to clarify it. No part of your journey has been in vain. Um, Spirit says, do you believe that? Wow, King of Swords, do you believe that? Some of you guys are really, in society as a whole, we're going to start putting down the things that don't work for us. Two of Pentacles reversed, the Temperance card reversed, Nine of Wands reversed, Four of Swords reversed, and here he is, the King of Wands, and then all of a sudden the cards are end, have ended. This is saying like, you. this is a society that was so overproducing and so overproductive, you know what I mean? That it starts to it starts to wear the wear you down emotionally mentally it's it, it's spiritually exhausting it's mentally physically emotionally exhausting and spirit is saying these are this is exactly what the shift this major shift is happening where as individually you and also collectively as a society societies more than one we're gonna stop doing so much because it wasn't working out it served when it served we learned what we learned but now it's time for real true rest i'm hearing and also thanksgiving community 
nurturing and true thriving the way that life was intended to be. And that's a blessing. All right, my loves, thank you so much for this really specific guided message. I'm so happy that I was able to do this. Wow, we have Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Basically, we went from ice to warm, right? So we're going to go from the coldness to the hearth, and I love that. Um, if you want me, if you need me, you can find me in Bahati Life Apothecary. Also, I just opened up um, subscriptions on Instagram, on Bahati Life Instagram for daily. I was calling them tarot pools, but honestly... They've been just absolutely channeled messages as I always do and as I'm known for. So if you want to subscribe to those um, to that subscription service, it's five dollars a month. You can cancel any time, but um, it really will serve. It served me too. Um, just genu uh, genuine, intu intuitive messages and guidance um, to help you along your day. It, it'll give you access to that so that you can clock into it in the morning or the afternoon or whenever you need to it's going to be up there for you the i'll leave the link down for that down below um i'm curious if there's another platform that helps you guys with that maybe i can post on that platform so just let me know as far as like exclusive um messages i might actually put something on my website i actually might put something on my website a subscription service there so it's up to you guys what you want to receive and then it could be um, something that you access it's just something that I'm considering was something that just came came to me because I just really have been craving and setting the intention for more intimate connection and doing readings which is something that I love but I can't do it on the same level that I was and I definitely always need to channel so that's just if I don't do that I'm gonna feel spiritually constipated I tell you guys all that that all the time also retreats for 2023 are and 2024 are gonna be listed down below I might have said too much with 2024 but I have some things confirmed on the books I haven't shared all I will say though that Costa Rica is going to happen again and we're pro we're I think we're opening up to share the details of Costa Rica either this week or early next week. Um, but I'll leave you guys the links down below. If you really do need a retreat and need to have a intuitive psychic intervention, it's that's everything. It has been everything. Every single one of the girls that came on the retreat has walked away from it being changed forever, myself included. 1000% I'm not the same person that I was when I walked into that tr retreat. I was good before. I'm better now. Um, and also, ladies from the Costa Rican trip, I fucking love you guys. I love you guys. Every single one of you showed up fully ready to be immersed in massive change and for connection. And I couldn't have asked for a better group. And I couldn't have asked for a better experience. And also, Lucy, our tour, tour guide, if you're listening, I can't thank you enough. Um, I just... The, the immense gratitude that is that I have. Okay, so if you guys need me, of course, you can find me. I'm working my magic for you all the time at bahadilife.com. And of course, you can find me on Instagram or TikTok also at bahadilife. Be aware of people who are trying to imitate me and offer readings. The only time that I'm going to offer reading is here or um, in the subscriptions and in that, subscri blah, blah, blah. in that subscription service. You choose. Okay, pick your poison. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.